It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. We got four new products from Bird's Eye to show you today. This is Bird's Eye's chicken shop. So from what I gather from a distance, I reckon this is Bird's Eye's kind of look at KFC at home, if you like. This is Texas style barbecue popcorn chicken. They were £2.50 a box in my local Tesco. We have some Chicken Shop Ultimate Fillet Burgers. Now, all of this food is going to go in the air fryer. So I'm going to get this one open straight away. Reason being, all of this food goes in the oven, air fryer for 15 minutes, but the burgers go in for 25. So whilst I'm talking, that's what it looks like. That's the ultimate fillet burger. Doesn't that look nice? Whilst we're talking about everything else, that's in the air fryer having a few more minutes. I don't think it'll take 25 minutes, but it's in there now cooking away. So uh, the next thing, this is, now this is what piqued my interest. This is what made me walk towards this range of products in the freeze oil in Tesco's in the first place. Salt and pepper chicken goujons. I would have probably preferred it to be salt and chili chicken, but they've not gone with that. They've gone with salt and pepper, but it, it could be good enough. It could be good enough, but yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at those in a moment too. And then last but not least, we have some bird's eye southern fried chicken nuggets to show you. Some of the products were £2.50, some of the products were £3. Have a look in your local Tesco. Prices will probably kind of vary between each Tesco store. And if you go to a little extra, little Tesco's extra, they're going to be more money than a probably a, a big... No, Extra is the big store. Than the small Tesco stores. The small convenience Tesco stores are probably going to be more expensive, expensive than your Tesco Extra. Right, that little bit out of the way. Um, should we open some of this up then? Let's start off with the Southern Fried Chicken Nuggets. Love my air fryer. I think the air fryer is great. Oh, look at that. That's a plastic bag with the ultimate burgers straight in a box for the Southern Fried Chicken Nuggets. Now this works for me. I don't need a plastic bag. As long as the inside of that box is fine, we'll live with that. So I'm going to grab three of these nuggets, put them to one side. Now we're going to open up the salt and pepper chicken goujons. Fingers crossed, same thing. Straight in a box, no plastic bag, that would be nice. Yep, there they are. We'll grab two of them, shall we? And then last but not least, the Texas style barbecue popcorn chicken. Is this just gonna be a box of popcorn chicken? Wouldn't that be nice without the plastic bag? Oh, look at that. So maybe then, bird's eye, can just chuck a couple of these burgers in a box. What the, what, why do they need the plastic box, plastic bag if everything else is We'll grab a handful of these. Everything else is just thrown in a box. There we go. We'll have a little handful of these. So, without further ado then, we add, let's have a little look, see how this chicken's doing. So it's had five minutes. It's starting to warm up a little bit. 
I reckon we can get away with putting the rest in. So, where are we? Nuggets. Nuggets at the base, so we know where everything is. Goujons to the side. Nuggets just kind of thrown in there. There we go. Let's go. I'm going to be back when everything's cooked. Right, so remarkably, it's an air fryer. It's all cooked before it would have cooked in the oven. About two minutes remaining on that 25 minutes I first showed you. There's the crackle, the smack, crackle and pop of this food then. There it all is. There, whoa, whoa, ho, 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 that made me jump. That, <laughs> that was hot, that was really hot. Um, caution, don't drink a couple of beers um, before you put chicken in the air fryer. Um, right, on we go then. Uh, so here are the popcorn chickens. Here are the, what are these, the nuggets, and the long things are the goujons, and the big Bernie bit, <laughs> the, the big chicken fillet thing. Yeah, I'm going to leave that for a minute. Spin that up, that bit me, bro, oh, that bit me. Right, so we're going to go, first of all, into the Texas-style barbecue popcorn chicken. Straight in, then. Mmm. Texas style barbecue. It's got a nice I'll tell you what it tastes like. It's got a little bit of barbecue sauce going on. A little bit of, let's break one open. It's a very light flavoured barbecue sauce on a little bit of popcorn chicken. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest with everybody here. I always am on the channel. Uh, there's an Instagram account that I follow that typically tracks new food in the UK. And they were raving about Aldi's chicken goujons. And they had a load of likes, a load of people commenting on it. And then, of course, the inevitable YouTube video comes along. People YouTubing about this Aldo, Aldi chicken goujon. Is it like McDonald's? And, and, and Fair play, it probably is. But this company, for me, Bird's Eye, it might be a little bit more expensive than your Aldi chicken goujons. Let's, let this company's been around for years. Bird's Eye been around since, since I can remember, since I was a small child, 30, 40 years ago. Let's try one of their chicken goujons. Surely they, they, they're gonna be as good as Asda's. This is salt and pepper. Salt and pepper chicken goujon with a little bit of batter on it. Oh. Fabulous. Mmm. The salt and pepper on there is tremendous. 
it's almost got like a, a southern fried feel to it. Lovely crunchy batter. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. I, I reviewed some beers earlier on in the day. Just posted them all on YouTube. And this is the ideal, the absolute ideal thing that my body wants right now. After reviewing two double IPAs and two regular IPAs at 6% ABV. Mm. The chicken is sucking them. The chicken is really sucking them. The bread comes is right, nice and crispy from the air fryer. Absolutely very good. Let's try this southern fried chicken nugget then from Bird's Eye. Hmm. Very similar. Very similar, but it has a almost like a herby. It's it's almost got like a herb flavour to it. It's definitely more spicy. This is definitely got a bit more spice to it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Really good. I'm going in for a second. Oh. These are my favourite so far. The Southern Fried Chicken Nuggets from Bird's Eye. They're tremendous. If you want to make a cheap... Friday night, Saturday night. We all like to do it with our friends, family, children, family gathering, whatever. Bit of a party night. Get a movie on. Get some chips in the air fryer. Get some southern fried bits in the air fryer. This is ideal. Absolutely ideal. Really good. Really good. Now, the ultimate Philip burger. Probably needed to put this in a burger, but we're going to go straight in with the, with what we have here. I'm just going to want to bite this. Look at that. It looks really succulent, doesn't it? Look at that juicy chicken in there. It stirred the dog up. Even the dog's interested. Um, I'd like to say all of this chicken is 100% chicken breast, which I'm quite happy with. I like chicken breast. Um, compared to the rest, I, I wanted to review this first, but it was just so blooming hot, burnt my fingers. Mmm. Juicy, loads of chicken. And um, there are other chicken burgers in this chicken shop range. Uh, if you want to have a look at my channel, um, I did the Sizzler, the Bird's Eye Chicken Shop Sizzler Burger Pack. And that was tremendous. That was really good. This is nice if you don't like that kind of sizzly, spicy peppery flavor this is this is just a regular crunchy crispy juicy chicken burger mm. it's really good really juicy look at this oh it's been whoa burn my fingers look at that Juicy strands of chicken. I'm 
I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with the quality of this bird's eye chicken. Everything's nice and white, as chicken breast should be. There's no horrible brown bits. The batter is terrific. Mm. Everything about this afternoon bird's eye chicken shop box review, the Texas style barbecue, the ultimate fillet burgers, the salt and pepper chicken goujons, the southern fried chicken nuggets. It screams a bit of quality to me. I reckon I reckon you could buy all of this stuff from your local supermarket. And you could, you could buy, you know, you may have the plastic containers. You could, you could make this look like a takeaway. You could quite easily make this look like a take, a takeaway meal. And you could save yourselves a few quid. Lovely. I'm not going to rate it individually. Because apart from the flavours and apart from the chopped chicken sizes, little bits of chicken, goujons, nuggets, burgers, it's all different sizes. The point is, it's all good quality meat. The breadcrumbs are terrific. I totally, totally, totally recommend sticking it all in the air fryer. You could have a really good meal and save yourself a few quid, a lot of few quids, than, than go into a, a, a big chain chicken branch. I like it all to give it an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 from Relail Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.